Well, today will be the final episode of Frog Watch 2022 because today we're releasing the frogs back into the wild. Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to gather all the frogs that we've got in our terrarium and put them into the container and I'm going to take them back to the pond where I got them as spawn all those months ago. It's a bit of a downside though, because if we take a look outside just for a moment... It's very hot and very dry, which is not ideal temperature and weather conditions for frogs, but I've been waiting for it to uh, to rain or to get cooler and it's just not happening. And the weather forecast for the next week just gets hotter and hotter every day. So I think today's the day. Um, I've got no more food for them anyway, so I have to release them today. So let's gather them up, take them down to the pond and release them. Don't worry, Charlie, we're not gonna release you today. Well, I think I've got them all out of the terrarium into this little tub here. There are only 12 frogs, which is actually disappointing. I thought there were a few more. As so always, we've had a lot of losses uh, over the uh, the months, uh, even from the tap off stage. You're going to get a lot of cannibalism, uh, and some will just die. And we've had some of the frogs have died over over the last uh, few months. So um, you know, it's to be expected. It's it's a hard life for tadpoles and frogs, and um, they they will they are difficult to look after. Uh, this kind of stage. Um, but this is actually is disappointingly low. I, I would have hoped to have a little bit more. But the way the way I like to look at it is that um, I believe it's about one or two in a hundred will survive in the wild. Out of every hundred spawn, about one or two get to get to survive. It's a very low survival rate. So the way I, I like to look at it is if I can improve on that then I think I've done what I set out to do. So I probably had um, around, well, maybe 60, 70 at the beginning. Uh, so with 12 surviving, that's a, a, a big significant step above the natural survival rates. So obviously they're still gonna survive out in the wild once I release them. So uh, that's one of the things we have. I'll never know. I'll never know how these frogs will do. And it's always a bit sad releasing them, but you have to do it. And I've definitely kept them a little bit too long uh, they need to be out in the wild now. And if you are following along at home, you've got your own tadpoles, your own frogs, uh, please don't be tempted to keep them as pets. I think I've said this in the last video, uh, they need to go back to the wild, uh, back to where you got them from as spawn or as tadpoles, uh, if at all possible. Um, yeah, we've got one in here which doesn't look particularly healthy. It's much smaller than the rest, so I'm thinking that the others probably got to the food before this one, uh, so we may not have eaten as much as I would have liked. Um, so he definitely needs to go out to try and fend for himself. Uh, yeah, but hopefully they'll be okay. The rest all look pretty active. They're all pretty big, well fed. I'm pretty happy with how, how the condition of them, or the ones that we've got. So let's not make them wait any longer. Let's get them back to the pond and say goodbye to them. So I've come back to Vinica Pond. This is where I got the frogs as spawn and this is where I'm going to release them. I, it looks terrible. I've never seen the water level so low as this. It's always been much higher and the water looks pretty disgusting. Uh, but this is where they have to go back. I've got no real choice. I have to do it. It's so dry around here though. 
but there is a little bit of muddy ground here and uh, there is a lot of vegetation this way so they can kind of choose where they want to go whether they want to go for shelter and vegetation or into the water uh, it'll be up to them so I'm going to release them as quickly as possible because that journey was very stressful for them some of them aren't looking too healthy at the moment so I want to get them out as quickly as possible so let's just release them So normally I'd film them for a lot longer and watch them hop away and enjoy their sort of goodbyes for, for a little bit longer. But today it was so hot and so dry. They were just kind of hunkering down in the mud, not really moving much. And to be honest with you, I just wanted to leave them alone and just get away and just get it done with. Um, I have to say this has probably been one of the most disappointing frog releases that I've ever done. Um, just because I just don't know how they're going to do because the weather is awful uh, for frogs. Um, they were in the kind of a, a muddy bit, so I'm hoping they're going to be okay. But the couple of the frogs there, they didn't look particularly healthy, and they were st still alive. They hadn't died completely. But there were two frogs there. I don't think I filmed them. There were two frogs that were just kind of laying down, not moving. Um, I did kind of poke them a little bit, and they weren't. You know, they did react. So I'm hoping, perhaps once they get a little bit moisture back into them, um, maybe because they're in the shade, I made sure that I put them in the shade. Um, hopefully they cool down a little bit once they recover from the stressful uh, journey um, they should hopefully recover and then be able to move on and, and be okay uh, but of course I'll, I'll, I won't know one way or another it's one of the saddest things about frog watchers I don't actually know whether I'm making any difference to them whatsoever um, but it's all about the process and, and learning about metamorphosis learning about the life cycle of frogs and tadpoles that's why I make these videos, but I think um, I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to be doing it next year. Um, we'll focus on some other things next year. Let me know what sort of things you'd like to see down in the comment section. Um, uh, but yeah, but I think I think for now that's that's pretty much going to be going to be it. I'm going to make my way home, clear out the tank, put it all away, and maybe in a couple of years' time we'll, we'll get it all out again. And we'll we'll do it all again. Um, but I think what I would like to definitely do is get a pond in my own garden that way I can minimize some of the stresses so by not having to take them back down to the pond in the car in the tub where they overheat um, they get stressed out by the journey the vibrations and the noise of the journey and me picking them up and putting them in the in the tubs that's probably not the ideal situation so if I can just get them in my garden because I know frogs do live in my garden if I can just get them there that's going to make things so much easier and we'll definitely get a frog watch going once I've got a pond in the garden. But for that, uh, we have to wait until another year. So please don't leave the channel. I do make lots of other wildlife related videos which I really would like you to watch. Um, they are not too bad. Um, so I will see you in the next video, I hope. Bye bye.